Hello and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. My name is Gina Hawley, also known as Lisa's daughter, and today I'm taking over a little bit. And if you're new here, I'm so excited that you are with us. We have a super fun project in store. And if you've been here for a while, I'm back. I took a long break because I had my son, Palmer Hawley, on May 9th of this year. And he is now four months old. He's the cutest thing ever. And I just fall more and more in love with him every single day. My husband is just the absolute best father too. So it's just been so much fun to be a family. But I'm so excited to be back. And today we have a Z Fold card, but this is a little bit different because I've kind of made this into my own. There's different cuts, there's different folds. And so essentially this is a Z Fold in three different ways. So before we get into the fun, I would love for you to chat with me right now in the live chat I am there with you talking literally right now so say hello if you are new you're gonna have to use your gmail account log into that so you can go ahead and chat with us there that's on YouTube but not on us um, so just make sure that you log into your gmail account so you can have access to chat with us because we'd love to meet you also, there is going to be a project sheet that's associated with this video and these cards that I have in store for you today. That's going to be found down in the video description below. And that's going to house all our cutting dimensions, full color photos, and a supply list for all three of these samples that I'm going to show you today. So you're definitely going to want to grab that so you can recreate this project at home. So I think that covers everything. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some scoring for this card. So I brought in my favorite paper trimmer. This has the cutting and the scoring blade on this clear guide that opens up. And I absolutely love that it has just both of them in the one. It also has an appendable arm that goes all the way out to 17 and a half inches. So it's perfect for you scrapbookers. I love that it has a straight edge at the top and a straight edge at the bottom. Needless to say, that is why it is my favorite paper trimmer ever. So now we're gonna bring in our color of choice for the base of this card. This is gonna be copper clay. And I've actually really grown to love copper clay. I tend to be more of an earthy tone type of person. And so this color fits perfectly in my preferred color palette. This is cut at five by 10 and a half. And the cutting and scoring dimensions are all going to be in that project sheet for you down in the video description below that you can download. So I'm gonna go ahead and score this in a couple of places. I'm gonna open up that handle. I'm gonna score it at three and a half and run it by a few times, and then I'm gonna score it at seven. Before I came on camera, I also cut a strip that is one and a half or one inches wide, depends on what you would like. I used one inch for this, but you can do up to one and a half. It works perfectly for this project. Um, and this is just gonna be for our belly band. So I'm gonna set that to aside for later. And I'm gonna use these score marks. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in two different directions. I'm gonna do a mountain fold and a valley fold. And to make sure that those folds and creases are nice and crisp, I'm bringing in my bone folder. A mountain fold means that it's just gonna go up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that score mark is up. And then I'm going to re-embrace that with the bone folder. And then I'm gonna make sure that the bottom one is going down, which is called a valley fold. I'm gonna run my bone folder around that a few times too. And so now you have a Z fold, it's very classic. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in very vanilla. And today I'm using autumn leaves bundle. I overlooked this bundle completely in the mini catalog and my mom's like, you need to get it. And I was like, eh, it's not really my thing. And then she bought it for me anyway as a surprise. And honestly, I'm so glad that she did because I totally needed it. One, I love the font. Two, I love that these are distinctive images, which means that when you stamp them, they come out in a variation, kind of like what you see here. And I just think it's really, really beautiful. And let me show you these dies because these dies are to die for, no pun intended, but they're just so beautiful. And I love that you can leave impressions and you have these awesome labels in here. And we use a lot of this in today's project. So let me go ahead and get started with some stamping. I'm gonna be using the big leaf in copper clay. I'm gonna go ahead and ink up that photopolymer image. And when you have a brand new ink pad like mine is, this is one of the brand new colors from Stampin' Up, um, it comes out pretty inky. So just know that when you stamp it originally, it's gonna come out 
pretty wet and dark, but then once it dries, it comes out beautifully. So I'm going to firm even pressure there and lift. And like I said, it comes out dark and then when it dries, it lightens up just a tad, but you can kind of see that distinctive image there. You see the little dots in the center. It just comes out beautifully. And then I'm going to bring in Mossy Meadow for the leaves. And I'm gonna be stamping four of those, but for the demonstration right now, I'm just gonna stamp two so you can kind of see what they look like. So one, two, and that is just beautiful. You can really see the distinctive stamp in that one there. It's gorgeous. Now with a little TV magic, we went ahead and used our die cutting machine to die cut those pieces using the dies that I showed you previously and they look just like this and this is what copper clay looks like when it dries so it's nice and beautiful kind of like a terracotta color maybe a little bit more saturated than that I also went ahead and die cut a few other pieces I went ahead and did the sprigs and these are in very vanilla and then I also did some leaves and I did a few of those and I did those in pumpkin pie. So I'm going to go ahead, pumpkin pie, oh my gosh. <laughs> I did these in pecan pie. Okay, it's fall. I'm just in all the pie mood and pumpkin pie is my favorite, but this is pecan pie, which is also a favorite. So we're gonna put this aside. What we're going to do is we're gonna start assembling some of our Z fold. I used the amazing All About Autumn Specialty Designer Series paper. And guys, these are just so beautiful. Okay, so I kind of have to just pull out a few to show you. So look at that. Isn't that shine just absolutely gorgeous? And what I love about Stampin' Up! Designer Series papers, whether specialty or not, is that the reverse side is just as gorgeous. This doesn't have the foil, but you can use it just as beautifully. Great for scrapbooking putting pictures on. I know I'm going to definitely use this for my son's photos this fall and this Halloween, but this I can use all year round, not just for autumn. And there's just a bunch of different colors that come in this package and you can see that here. And the front sides all have foil and the back sides all have something just beautiful that you can use. These textures you can use all year round. There's definitely some more specific to the season textures. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm using those designer series papers today and I have gone ahead and put some of those together. Um, so I'm using very vanilla as some bases and some of that designer paper on top. I'm using the copper clay and then the very vanilla. Look how pretty that is. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is decorate that top panel all the way at the top. So I'm gonna flip this over and use my Seal Plus, which I love because it comes out in small tabs. So I'm just gonna put that at the top there. Then what I'm going to do is remember that Z fold that we had before? I'm going to invert it. So this is one of the three ways that we're going to make it a little bit different. So what we're going to do is flip this 180 and then flip it in reverse. This bottom panel is going to come up and then the top panel is going to come down to see our designer paper. So now your Z looks more like a C. We're gonna open it up and then I'm gonna add a few more panels. Uh, my next panel is going to be this inside flat panel. All I did was take some designer paper and some very vanilla and I layered those as such. These cutting dimensions will be in that project sheet that you should download and use now. It's right in the video description below. We've laid those out for you so it's super easy to use and replicate down the line. Now I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna use just a plain piece now of designer paper, which is this beautiful vanilla with that copper foil. And I'm gonna use that right at the top. And then in this middle section here, I just put a strip of that copper clay designer paper right at the bottom on very vanilla. I'm gonna add that to the center panel here. And then for the bottom, I'm using the designer paper, just like at the top panel, I'm just putting it at the bottom panel. Okay, so now that you've adhered everything, it's gonna look a little bit like this. And so it's already looking gorgeous, but we gotta step it up a few notches. So I'm gonna teach you a little trick on how to make sure your belly band isn't too tight. So what we're going to do is just slide our belly band on the back and then we're gonna very gently bring it over 
very gently bring it over again and we're just going to lightly crease where that is and we're just going to set this aside so it looks a little bit like this now we're going to set it aside for later all right so you remember those die pieces earlier i'm going to bring those back in for just a moment but i'm going to focus on this pecan pie leaf and I'm gonna give it a little umph because I feel like it's kind of flat in comparison to the leaves and this other big leaf here because they have that distinctive look to them. So I'm gonna step it up a notch. I'm gonna bring in Pecan Pie, which is the coordinating ink for the cardstock. Another reason why I love Stampin' Up! products is that they have coordinating everything. And then I'm just bringing in a dauber. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ink this up lightly, kind of twist it off on my scratch paper and just kind of add a little texture on the edges of this leaf by adding some ink. So this is tone on tone and you'll see, hopefully the camera's picking it up, that kind of texture that it's given it now, which is beautiful. And it, now it looks a little more purposeful when I pair it with these other images. So I've done that to the other two. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble the centerpiece of this belly band and then use this as the focal point. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably tuck a leaf here. And this is the fun part. You can just be as creative as you want to be. And you can really let these images do all of the hard work for you. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to take a sprig. And let's see. Let's maybe tuck this over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my favorite glue bottle, which is the precision tip glue bottle. You can find this in our craft room favorites under lisastampstudio.com shop craft room favorites. All we've done is put multi-purpose liquid glue, also known as green glue from Stampin' Up! in here. And we love this because it has a very fine tip and look how tiny I can get it. So it's perfect for something like this. It has a silicone cap on the top so your glue will never dry. You just take off this cap here and you just fill it with your uh, multi-purpose liquid glue and you recap it and that's the easiest way to refill it. Now that I know where I kind of want things to go, I'm going to take my glue and start adhering some things. I like to do it while it's still down. I don't like flipping it over or kind of piecemealing it together after that. I kind of just tuck and go and I start with one piece and then I move on to the next piece and I just work my way around the center. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a dimensional I'm gonna flip this over, add a dimensional on the back, and then I'm going to put that probably here. That looks cute. And now we have a little centerpiece going on. All right, so now that our centerpiece is assembled, let's bring back in our card in our belly band strip. I'm going to kind of just loosely put that in place again, but this time I'm going to add some adhesive. And then I'm just gonna loosely adhere that. So you can see it's not too tight, but not too loose where it just kind of falls off, but I'm able to slide it on and off really easily. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few more dimensionals on the back here. I kind of like to see where I'm going to position it, eyeball where I need to put those dimensionals so they're not hanging off here and then sticking on to the front panel here. So I'm just gonna see that I'm gonna put the dimensionals down the center half of the big leaf. I'm gonna flip that over and then I'm going to go ahead and add those. You can always reinforce some of these pieces with the dimensionals if they line up that way. And that's just a little added bonus there to keep things tacked down as they go through the mail meter. I'm gonna flip this back over now and adhere that kind of right in the center there. And that's looking really good. Now, ahead of time, I used one of those labels and I put for all you do on it and I die cut it out and I made sure that for all you do was a little bit more to the right hand side instead of the center because what I'm going to do is add a little bit of glue on the end here and then I'm going to go ahead and tuck it up under this leaf 
And so now it's complete, it's attached here. And it looks a little bit like this. I recommend waiting to put this on until you know where you're putting your belly band. I like to center mine more towards the left. You might like yours more towards the center, which means that this would then probably need to go somewhere else. Now I'm not done. Let's decorate the inside just a little bit because we have all those extra pieces. For the extra leaves that we have, I'm going to bring in my paper snips and I'm actually gonna cut these apart. They come together, but I'm gonna cut them apart and I'm just kind of following the natural curve of the die. And then I'm gonna do it again with the other one. Just follow that natural line. All right, so now we have that and we have our two additional leaves. So I'm gonna take a leaf, green, I guess they're all leaves, right? So I'm gonna take a green leaf and I'm gonna take a pecan pie leaf. I'm gonna add a little glue there and maybe just go a little bit like this. And then I'm going to adhere that to the corner of this inside panel, just like so. Then I'm going to take two more leaves and I'm going to add a little bit more glue, just like this. Add some glue to the back. And then let's put it right here. Perfect. This last pecan pie leaf, I think would go really good down in the corner here. So I'm gonna add some glue and then kind of maybe angle it. There we go, give it some life. Okay, so now we've decorated all our panels. The last thing I'm gonna do is just stamp my sentiment. I'm just gonna ink that up in copper clay and stamp that there looking good all right so that is the finished card it's going to close just like this and then when the recipient receives it they're going to slide it off and you have this really gorgeous card and what i love about these other panels is that you can decorate this for anything you could write something here you can add a photo a photo here you can right here. There's just so many panels that you can do things with. And I love that about this kind of card. So this is my first sample, but I have some more. So let me go ahead and clean up this area and then we can show you the others. All right, the next fold I have is more of a proper Z fold like I was showing you before. I'm using the very cute bundle here. You can see the Z is nestled that way. And all I've done here is use very cute. I love it comes with a coordinating punch. I used all the pieces. I added some enamel effects here, which is on the trees. And I ripped the cardstock so it kind of looked like snowbanks. Added the wonderful designer paper that also comes with very cute. And then when you open it up, it looks just like that. So I love this one. I think it's just putting me right in the mood for Christmas or the holiday season and it just gives me really those warm wishes. But this is the second card. This is your proper Z fold. It uses the let's go shopping bundle and I love this too. You can put so many things inside of here. I've decided to make this a birthday card so I went ahead and made this a bakery and what I've done you can see here is that I've stamped these twice. So I only colored the front. I stamped the back and then I've layered them and I put some window sheets in between. So it kind of gives you that windowy look. And if you know me, you know that all of my projects, one of them has a pocket. It's kind of just my thing. So this is gonna open up and this opens like a Z, but the other way. So kind of like an S is what it looks like to me. So then this opens up like this. And this is where you should write. And then this is intended for a gift card. So this is the pocket and this just pulls out at the bottom. And so it looks super cute when you fold it all together and you put the belly band back on it because it's fully covered in that designer paper. All right, so that's it. Let me know which project is your favorite right now in the comments. If you're in the live chat, let me know there. I'd love to know. Also, before you go, don't forget to grab that project sheet down in the video description. That is available for you now to go ahead and download. And before you go, 
I just want to let you know about something super important that is coming up. It is the online stamping retreat. Myself, my mom, Kylie, and Bruna Bertucci from Australia, they're the number one Stampin' Up! demonstrators there. They have partnered with us and we have a virtual online event for you. We've been doing this now, this is two years, year two. So session two is going to be starting on October 28th here in the US. That's going to be October 29th in Australia. It is a day full of just live demonstrations for us, kind of strip back a little bit. We make a lot of mistakes. You can hang out with us. Not only do my mom and I demonstrate solo, we also demonstrate together. And then Kylie and Bruno demonstrate solo and demonstrate together. You're not gonna wanna miss it. We have six live demonstrations. We have 48 giveaways this time. That is amazing. We have a huge tutorial bundle. I think the last one was like 152 pages, which should be more than that this time because we've stepped up our game. Head on over to onlinesampingretreat.com. It's $45 for a day of fun. And the best part about it is that you have lifetime access to all the content. So even if you can't hang out with us the day of, or if you only pop in, pop out, you have access to everything. We have a platform that you're going to love to be a part of. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out today. We will see you next week.